Hey, welcome to another episode of Detroit Investor TV. My name is Jeremy Burgess, a Detroit market expert. And uh, first of all, sorry about the long delay in videos. Uh, got got a little sick there, got a little tied up, and uh, yeah, just just really got busy. Had a little family emergency, but anyway, we're gonna start this uh, this year off 2012 right, and we're going to discuss um, something that's looming here. Um, whether or not Detroit will get an emergency manager. Um, let me explain that a little bit more, especially if you're not uh, from here. Uh, it might seem a little confusing. So um, I thought personally that we, we might have avoided this. Um, and where we're at is it looks like Detroit, um, despite all the cuts and everything that Mayor Bing has done, um, it looks like things still aren't, it, not enough cuts have been made. Uh, I think the last number I saw was they're still something like $100 million short and, and cutting the budget. So what happens here is um, if they can't fix their budget in time, the state will actually take over the city and appoint a financial manager. Um, and this financial manager uh, non-elected but appointed by, by Governor Snyder, who's the governor of Michigan currently, uh, will have almost dictatorial powers to rewrite union contracts, to cut city debt, uh, basically just about everything. There, there's very few limitations on the power that the emergency manager is going to have. And I wasn't sure we were going to end up here because it looked like we we're heading in the right track and yeah, things were getting tough. Um, but now I'm almost certain it's going to happen because uh, I was watching the news and uh, they got on there and said there's no way Detroit's going to get a uh, an emergency financial manager. And I have found generally through life that when on mainstream media they tell you something's absolutely not going to happen, you know it's going to happen. That's like code for it it's going to happen. So what is this going to look like for Detroit? Um, well, first of all, Detroit's come a long way. In the last couple of years with uh, with Mayor Bing uh, so there's not as much work to be done as when when uh, Mayor Dave Bing started um, that being said uh, was the effect of uh, a financial manager gonna have on Detroit well one of the, one of the first things is financing um, but that's ironic because there's currently no real financing here so that's not really going to affect it. There's really no banks that, that lend any significant amount in the city of Detroit, especially on these single family homes that I do. So that's not really a, a, a negative. Um, there is going to be a small negative perception um, through the rest of the world. And, and the less educated investors, especially ones who don't understand, oh, there's no mayor, it's under state control, that's a terrible thing. Um, you know, while it doesn't happen frequently, it, it's not like it never happened in history. A, a lot of cities that currently right now, the city of Pontiac is, uh, has a financial uh, emergency manager and they're doing a lot of great things and there was no loss of services. Day to day operations went by just fine. Um, they're making a lot of cuts. They privatized some things, things like that to balance the budget. And really the same thing's going to happen here. now. If there was still financing for single family homes in the city, that would be a major downside uh, because most banks, you know, they don't like the uncertainty. Uh, well, you know, there, there's no elected uh, mayor. It's, you know, we're gonna wait and see how this turns out. But really with the, with the lack, you know, of financing already in place, a financial manager is, uh, is not gonna have that big of an impact. Uh, it's gonna scare away some investors mostly because they don't understand it. There's some uncertainty on how it's gonna go, but all a financial manager is gonna do is come in, cut budgets. They won't need the permission of the city council. Uh, they, and now under new law, we'll see if it's challenged and overturned, uh, but they can cut union contracts too, and the union doesn't have to uh, approve it. So basically it's just going to be a bunch of cuts they're going to come in they're going to bounce the budget they're going to cut some more um i haven't seen a financial manager raise taxes so i'm not incredibly worried about um taxes being raised i 
basically it's going to be it's going to be a lot of cuts and there were cuts that um, mayor bing was trying to get anyway although it may not be in exactly the same places but uh it, you know there will be cuts some things are going to be privatized um, even though i'm dead set against it i think there's a decent chance um, the city of detroit water department is going to be privatized um, and that's something to be a little concerned about just because whenever something's privatized prices go up our water is already not cheap despite an abundance of it so there's some assets the city has that uh, are probably going to be privatized but as far as the effect on on investors you know if anything although stuff's so cheap here it doesn't really matter maybe for a short period of time you know for the you know less sophisticated investors who panic um, maybe houses are a little cheaper I don't know we'll, we'll see I haven't lived through this so uh, from everything I'm looking at and I understand it doesn't seem like it's um, it's a bad thing if anything it's it's a really positive thing kind of like when GM and Chrysler declare bankruptcy and they came out healthier profitable same th sort of thing but it, it's gonna be for the city and I'm almost certain it's gonna happen so but anyway what are your thoughts I don't know if you've been looking into it, you've been following it. Um, I did uh, two weeks ago see an article where Governor Snyder's not waiting. Um, he sent uh, his guy to review the books, the city of Detroit books, and start planning. Um, he wants to be prepared, you know, that's kind of code too. He wants to be prepared and ahead of schedule if the city of Detroit does get an emergency, if they declares bankruptcy and does get an emergency financial manager. So, to me, you know, and they come out and they say yeah, it's absolutely not going to happen. That's what Dave Bing said. That's what the city council said and all that. That pretty much guarantees it's going to happen. And it looks like uh, they might run out of money. I think they said April or May, which means they could probably stretch it maybe June, July, August. But it looks like sometime this year, the city of Detroit is going to get a financial emergency manager. Um, what are your thoughts on that? What do you think is going to happen? Are you concerned about it? Uh, those are my opinions and my thoughts on it. You know, let me know. Go ahead and post the questions down below if you're on YouTube. Or if you're watching this on my blog, go ahead and uh, post questions there. I'd be interested to see uh, what your take is on it and what you think about it. Anyway, I uh, appreciate your attention. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Detroit Investor TV. My name is Jeremy Burgess, the Detroit market expert. I'll catch you guys on the next episode. Thanks.